Good morning, crafties. Happy September the 1st. I'm headed out on another adventure. Gonna have go to multiple places. So you'll have to watch and find out where. Tonight, I'll be staying in an RV park in Corning, California. Never stayed there before. It'll be a new experience. Crafty traveler camps at dawn Makes her fire around the lawn Coffee brewed in morning breeze Nature song puts her at ease Crafty traveler don't stop Mountain high or valley drop Every place a new story Crafty traveler glory She's got a wander in her heart Every trip a fresh new start RV is warming up and the car is hooked on and I'm just taking Snickers. Where are you Snickers? Stay. I'm just taking Snickers for a last minute walk and we're going to load up. Parking at Grenzella's has always been good. Across the street on the left side, you see that lot is empty. That's available for parking, as well as their parking lot on the other side that is good for RVs as well as vehicles. And this is where I prefer to park. First stop is always Grand Zella's when heading to Highway 5. It's on Highway 20 in Williams. Pick up lunch. Well, it's about 85 outside, so I put the generator with the air conditioner on to keep Snickers and I cool. I left him in the RV while I went in to get my sandwiches. I always get two. Usually they have the same thing, but they I don't have them put any condiments. No mayonnaise or mustard because I have my own. And I got a uh, cookies and cream piece of cake. And I always like to get Granzella's olives. So here's my lunch. I'll save one sandwich for dinner. And I probably only eat a few bites of that cake. And then we'll be off. First time I've seen that. Must be a lightning Ford. Charge it up on the electric. Pull in a trailer. I bet he knows all the spots to charge. Before arriving at Heritage, on my way to Heritage, I stopped at the Rolling Hills TA uh, gas station, Indian Reservation, and I noticed they did have an RV park there, and I also noticed in the back there was truck parking. I'm not sure, but I imagine um, RVs could stay there uh, without going into the RV park. That might be about, I don't know, 60 bucks a night or something like that. Gas was $3.89 a gallon, which is low for this area in California. And I filled up there, and then the Heritage RV Park where I am for the night was only about three or four miles. Snickers and I are here for our first uh, night of our three-week RV trip. I gave you a little hint. We'll be going a little more north and then east to Hat Creek.
tomorrow. So I'll be showing you that video. Oh, by the way, there's Wi-Fi here, and uh, I think it's good. I haven't tried it yet, but it should be pretty good. I might even be able to stream a little bit. If not, I got movies. I'll be taking Snickers to the dog park a little later. I don't think I'll be going to the pool, although it looks very inviting. But uh, I don't think so. All right. I'll keep you posted. Office where I checked in. You stop there and go in and check in. And then we drove in here to Heritage RV Park. Found our spot. One nice thing about this park is all these beautiful trees. Snickers and I are here at Heritage RV Park to spend the night. Cost $58, that includes tax, pull through site, full hookups, although I'm only going to use water and electricity. It's about 86 outside, so I'm plugged into electricity and I have the AC on. We are at Heritage RV Park in Corning, California. There are about 86 sites. Mo a lot of them are pull through. I have number 31. I paid $58 and change, and I include tax for my one night stay. The, uh, these sites might be less, but I think there's a lot of permanent people or seasonal people in those sites. They have bocce ball, they have a pool, the office has a little store, a dog park, and I have full hookups. I don't know if there is a dump station. There may be. I think there is a dump station. So lots of amenities in downtown Corning right off Highway 5, but very little traffic because we're far enough away from the highway. Um, it's located kind of behind a little strip mall and I saw the uh, RV park sign and missed the driveway but I made a turnaround I'll show you that I don't think I'm the first one to miss the driveway into the strip mall luckily there's this large area on the left that I could fit around and turn around and go back to the driveway. The Snickers and I are here for our first night of this RV trip. It's going to be a three week RV trip. It's a nice long pull through site. Lots of big rigs in here, big fifth wheels and all. Me with my little car. And the pedestal is way back there, that purple thing. I've got electric and water, and my electric just made it over there. I didn't have to use my extension. Not using sewer, because sewer is there too, and that's quite a distance. I probably would have to hook my two sewer hoses together. I don't really need sewer for one night. My tank is empty anyway. I leave my car hooked up, don't have to unhook my car. If I really needed to go dinner somewhere, there's about three restaurants or so in this little uh, strip mall that I just drove through. But I've got food. I've got my sandwich from Granzella's. There's also a pool down there. People in there, so I'm not gonna go down there. But there's a pool and an office. There's also a doggy park down there. There's somebody there right now. I'll take Snickers down there later. See what that looks like. To continue the tour of this Heritage RV Park, there are grassy spaces between most of the sites and tables. And of course, they have full hookups. The Wi-Fi is very good. I haven't tried to stream anything yet. So there's the office over there. And the pool, that's where the restrooms and the laundry are. And they have a code for that. And across from the office, they have propane at $4.29 a gallon if you need to hook up or fill up. And we're going.
going into the doggy park. Do not leave pets unattended. They poop, you scoop. There's the baggies and there's the trash can right by the gate. They do have a bench for pet owners to sit in as well as some rakes and things. And there's Snickers running around getting a little exercise, sniffing all the sniffs. They even have a doggy wash. Heritage RV Park doggy wash. I don't think it costs anything if you're staying here. It's a bathtub has some steps go in the bathtub there's the water heater hot and cold looks like they've got it hooked up to a propane tank very cute cute little doggy wash good morning it's the next morning and Snickers and I are at Heritage RV Park in Corning California we had a very good night's sleep it was quite warm and I had the air conditioning on until almost 9 o'clock. When I heard my neighbors turn theirs off, then I figured, and mine had been off for a while, because I had set it at about 78, I figured I could open up. So I turned it off and opened up the windows and turned my little fan on above my head, and Snickers and I slept comfortably. There was no noise, no traffic noise, it was a very good night. Now I'm hearing some traffic noise this morning, but it's about 8.30 in the morning. We're um, behind a strip mall and probably about a quarter to a half a mile away from Highway 5. But all these beautiful trees help to stifle the noise. This is a very nice RV park. It was about $59 a night. That included tax. Beautiful trees, full hookups, pool, laundry. I didn't go into the laundry room or the restroom, but I'm sure it's nice. And um, nice little dog park. They do have rules. They don't want rigs over 10 years old. They don't want people sleeping in cars. Um, I think if you have a very nice, well-built-out van, uh, they would probably okay that. But they want nice RVs in here. They are pick picky about that. Of course, rules about the dogs. Always clean up after your dog. And they don't want any mats or tents or anything on the grass. So they don't want tents at all. People can't sleep in tents. Um, luckily in front of my door and it's gravel so I just put my little rug out there in case I have to step out barefoot but uh, other than that I felt it was a very nice RV park I would come back again on my way north and uh, it was very enjoyable I want to thank all my subscribers and all who are watching this video I really appreciate all of you. Thank you. All right. Well, I hope you liked the video of us arriving to Heritage RV Park in Corning, California. And uh, our first night is over. So give me that thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when coming to Heritage RV Park in Corning, California. Bye now. Thanks so much for watching.